Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at this HP Pavilion gaming desktop. So what we're taking a look at today is the HP Pavilion gaming desktop. The model that I have is the TG01-2022. The specs on this has an AMD Ryzen 3 5300G processor, eight gigs of RAM, 512 gig SSD, and includes Windows 11. I recently purchased this on sale on a Prime Day sale that they had for $389 plus tax. The current price on Amazon right now is $520 plus tax. And here is everything that comes in the box. Of course, we have the tower included. We do have a wired keyboard. This is not a gaming keyboard. It looks like a, a pretty basic keyboard. It does have some volume controls and a sleep control. We also have a wired USB mouse, and this is a pretty basic one as well. We also have a power cable and some documentation. On the front of our desktop, you can see we have a little bit of I.O. So we do have our power button. We have a headphone jack. We do have uh, four super speed USB 3 ports. We also have a uh, three in one card slot as well as a USB-C connection. And as you can see, it does have green accents all the way here. And on the bottom, when it lights up, it does light up green uh, down here as well. As you can see on the profile here, it's a very small desktop. So uh, very similar to other home office uh, computers you might find. Um, in the lesser price range. So it will fit in most places, it's not a big gaming computer. On the back, we have some more IOs. So we have a couple of options for audio. We do have a uh, blocked off option for our HDMI and VGA. So as you can see, this one has screws over it. This one has a little plug inside. Uh, we have two USB 3 ports, two USB 2 ports, our ethernet, and then we have our graphics card here. Uh, so that offers an HDMI and two display port. And then we have our traditional uh, plug for our uh, power supply and the fan for that as well. And we have one large fan output right here. And here's a quick look with the side panel taken off so we can see inside. Taking a look, you can see our fan and heat sink. We have our Wi-Fi card. We do have our eight gigs of DDR4. We have our 512 gig PCIe SSD. We have our Radeon RX 5500 here. And we do have our power supply down here. And this is a 400 watt power supply. And we're booting it for the first time. So as you can see, we do have a green light for the LED for the power. And then we have a green light emitting from the bottom. Looks pretty cool. During the Windows 11 setup, you will be uh, prompted to register and protect with HP. However, this is optional, but just want to let you know about this step uh, in the setup process. All right, and after some updates, we are now at the desktop. Now, I don't believe it actually put uh, the newest Windows 11 version on here. It did say that it would download after we got to the desktop. And you'll have to excuse this monitor. It doesn't have the greatest viewing angles, but just using this temporarily here. So as you can see, we have our main menu. Just want to show you a couple things that are included here. So we took a look at the all apps menu. We have uh, booking.com. We have a Dropbox, ExpressVPN, HP Audio Center, a bunch of HP applications, as you can see here. LastPass, McAfee Live Safe, McAfee Personal Security. We have uh, MyHP, Omen Gaming Hub which is of course part of HP, Simple Solitaire, Tips, uh, Wild Tangent Games. Uh, so a little bit more bloatware than I'm used to, uh, but of course this can all be removed. And if we take a look at Winver, we can see the version it comes with. So it does come with uh, 21H2, so it's not completely updated. So um, that will be an update. If you get this out of the box, that's what it'll come with. And formatted, the drive has 476 gigs. However, out of the after the installation of Windows and everything, you have 437 gigs. I've downloaded a few benchmarks to just check out the performance of the PC. So the first we're gonna try out is Geekbench. And our CPU score is 1328 single core and 4582 multi-core. And then for the compute score, it's 41,868, and that is for the GPU that we have, which is the RX 5500. All right, the next benchmark we're gonna try is Superposition Benchmark. Uh, and as you can see, it's set to 1080p medium. Uh, you have a couple different options here. So we'll go ahead and do 1080p high, and then we'll use DirectX. There's OpenGL or DirectX. We'll just use DirectX, and then we'll go ahead and run it. And we're in the first scene right now, and it's running about 51, 52 frames per second. So we're a couple minutes in already, and the highest we've gotten is 56, and the lowest is 47. And our final results, as you can see, are a uh, score of 6402. And we have a minimum of 40 frames per second, average 47, and max of 56. So definitely not 1080p high with this computer. And just for fun to compare, uh, the top one here is a 12th gen Core i9 with a GeForce RTX 4090 
with a score of 27,919. For reference, we just got a score of just over 6,000. All right, as you can see, we have much better results on 1080p medium. So we got 8985. We have a minimum of 55 frames per second, a maximum of 84, and average 67. So you're definitely not gonna be playing with uh, high settings on this computer, but definitely medium settings will work for a lot of games. All right, the final benchmark we're gonna do is performance test. And here's our result from the Passmark benchmark. As you can see, we have a 5320, and it's in the 68th percentile. And then if you wanna see these other ones, we have a couple other ones as well. And as you can see, our benchmark store scores, we have uh, three stars here, two and a half, three stars, three, two and a half, uh, one and a half, and uh, two and a half, looks like. So not the greatest, but medium level, this will be great for. And this is just to give you a quick look at the HP Gaming Hub, uh, the Omen Gaming Hub. So there are quite a few options in here. So uh, you can look at your gear, you can shop for new things, you can shop for games in here, you have rewards, that kind of thing. If you go into the desktop here, you have a couple things. So you can see your system's vitals. You can uh, check out the network and uh, boost that. You have lighting options. Now you only have one light at the very bottom of the computer, uh, but as you can see, you have uh, two different animation options, breathing and blinking. You also have a static option where if the light will just, just stay on, or you can turn it off altogether if you don't want it on. On the other side here, uh, left side you have rewards. Uh, you have My Games, you have Oasis Live, uh, Light Studio. And Light Studio coordinates with other devices that have lights, so you can coordinate those together. Uh, we have a gallery. We have an optimizer section where you can boost your computer or clean it. And they have coaching here, and it says they partner with Mobilytics to help improve your gameplay. Um, and these all do require logins of some sort, uh, but you have a couple of options to kind of customize your gaming with this computer. All right, there you guys have it. A quick look at the HP Pavilion Gaming Desktop TG01-2022. So again, the specs, we have a Ryzen 3 5300G. We have eight gigs of DDR4 memory. We have a 512 gig SSD, and we have the AMD Radeon RX 5500. Uh, so you have decent specs here. For the price I got it for, I think it was a pretty good deal. I am gonna add some RAM to it, um, and hopefully that'll be uh, great for me. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this quick look at this computer. Any questions or comments on this, feel free to leave them down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.